Hey, everybody. We're everybody. Pastors Larry and Tiz Halk, and welcome to today's yes. broadcast. You know, we're going to do something today that I have never seen God lead us to do. Right. There is an acceleration of yes, prophecy absolutely. taking place in the world yes, right, now. right now. And we're seeing the yeah. different eras of what God does through the year yes. come together Amen. at one point. We're Ooh. actually going to talk about yep. prophecy, yes. Purim, and Passover. Mm. God is doing something that he has never done in the yes. history of the world. And he wants you and I right. to be a part of it. Amen. We'll be right back. Everybody, we're Pastors Larry and Tiz Hawk. We want to welcome you to our YouTube channel and invite you to subscribe and be a member of all the resources that we make available to you. You know, I, I just feel that God is saying something yeah. extra special. Yes. Not only in this program, Tiz, but in this whole month. Yeah. Because you know, we've just come through what's called Purim, and right. that's the book of Esther. And we're going to talk about Amen. that. We are we are right now in going into Passover uh -huh. and first fruits. And when you bring and, and this is the last week. This is the last week for the first fruit offering. Right. And, and and I know all of you know this. Malachi returning to me and I return to you. How do we return yeah. in your tithes and your offerings? We know what a tithe <laughs> is. The offering is three times a year right. we come before the Lord and we don't come empty handed. Yeah. And when you do this, when you do this, right. it's conditional. Then God opens up the windows yes. of heaven. Yes. Now, I, I, I'm praying God will give me the words to st tell you what he's showing us in right. the spirit. Right. When you talk about God opening up the windows of yeah. heaven, the word window is you showed. Yes. And it means in English. Um, like a funnel. Like a funnel. Yes. Uh, from, from the throne, throne of, God of God to your knee. Yes. All right. So this happens during first fruits. Yes. This first fruit, Passover, is the evos or right. the evolt. It's the yes. father of all offerings. Right. It's what brings birthing to all right. the rest of the blessings That's and right. you know without getting into it you you don't want to miss this first fruit offering because it's not only the, the avos the father of all the offerings for the year yeah. but with what god is doing right now prophetically yes. and so uh, this is the last week for that now right. we always have a 30 day grace period we understand that but this is when god opens right. up the windows of heaven pours us out such a blessing, yeah. there's not room enough to receive it, and the English translation misses it in Malachi, and he rebukes the devourer exactly for us. Right. He yes. cancels the, the enemy's attack right. on everything that we're doing. Yeah. But I want us to look at not just Passover and the first fruit, mm -hmm. and it's so important. Right. This is... It, it, it's, it, uh, I'm so limited in how much time I have to tie in, but I want to tie this in with a, a revelation that yeah. we're going to give. And I guarantee, I can almost oh, guarantee you've this. never heard this before. Ooh. Because of everything that's happening right. in, the in the world with yeah. uh, COVID and now as as you're watching this, this is a month or so after we filmed. Yeah. And right now, we are uh, every day, a couple times a day, yeah. we're on the phone with Israel, mm -hmm. uh, the Israeli government, dealing with how we can help the Jewish people yep. get out of Ukraine. Yes. And and we're, we're working with them right now. We're already by faith promising yeah. because we know you're going to send in your first fruit yes. offering. We're promising them to send them at least. Um, and by the time you hear this, we'll have already done this yeah. by faith, at least a quarter of a million dollars yeah. to rescue about six or 7,000 Jews out of Ukraine. Now, 
at the, with all of this that's going on, mm. COVID and the COVID passport and yes. Israel and Ukraine, I've been doing a series on the seven churches right. of Revelation. And what is God saying to the church? And, you know, Tiz, we talked about this a lot, that f f for most of our ministry, yeah. we haven't done... We haven't really done any teachings on Revelation because most people look at Revelation as something of doom, doom and, and gloom. gloom. Right. But when right. you read and when you yeah. when you hear what God is saying to the seven churches yeah. in the end times, it is doom and gloom if we're not paying attention. Mm -hmm. But to those who have eyes That's to right. see That's right. and those who have ears to hear, it is a promise of great victory. Absolutely. It's a promise yes. of great success. Yeah. It is a promise of the end time transfer of wealth. Yeah. And it's a promise of signs and wonders and miracles. Yes. And so this last week here at New Beginnings in Dallas, I started teaching on the church of Thyatira. Yeah. And in the church of Thyatira, there is a revelation that combines the miracle of Passover, right. the miracle of first fruits, yeah. the miracle of Purim, mm -hmm. and the miracle of tremendous anointing yes. coming on every person yes. that follows God's word. Yes. And the key here is if we have eyes to see and ears to hear. Yeah. You know, Larry, last month you taught on that there is no word in Hebrew for obedience. You know, talk about that for a little bit because that was such an important point. Every time, every time Jesus says, if you have eyes to see, right. if you have ears to hear, he said they have eyes, but they don't see. They yeah. have ears, but they don't hear. In Hebrew, it, it, there's, in ancient Hebrew, there's no word for obedience. Right. In other words, if we see what God is yeah. doing, yeah. And, and that, guys, is so important right, right now with right. everything that's going on with, with the COVID, with the vaccine, with the economy, with Ukraine, with Israel, with Syria, with China. If we see what's going on and then you tie that in with the obedience of first fruit on Passover, yeah. the, the understanding of Purim and what I'm about to teach you on the church of Thyatira, if you see what's going on, then you will automatically obey and yeah. do what God is telling us to do. As soon as we, I'll give you an example. As soon as we heard of what's happening in Ukraine, yeah. I got a phone call from Israel, right. from right. Jerusalem, and said, Pastor Larry, here's what we need to do. And yeah. I'm not even allowed to talk about it. Yeah. You're seeing this a month later and we'll have already done it by right. faith, knowing that you're going to respond. But as soon as I heard it, yeah. okay, we immediately responded. Yes. We went to the church and we said, here's what we want to do. And right. the church said, let's do it. And and if if I'd have heard it and not obeyed right. and stepped up, then I wouldn't be right. hearing what God is right. saying. And, you know, I just want to say to our viewers that when that happened last week and we heard what was going on in Ukraine, Larry, you and I stayed up till probably two or three in the morning right. because we were so moved to do something. <clears throat> we knew that we had to step in. And we've said this before, but we live our lives every day saying, God, what are you doing in the world today? And how do you want us to be a part of it? And literally, as soon as we heard of this need, we were figuring out how to do it and committing to do it before we even knew how we could. That's having eyes to see. <laughs> that's right. And that's having ears and to that's hear. What our people now, are. we're going to tie this in with the church of Thyatira and give you a revelation that is absolutely prophetic yeah. for these end times. Yes. It, it's absolutely Amen. amazing. But I want you to think about this as we go to break. Um, the first fruit offering. Yeah. The first of the first fruit offering during Passover happened when Israel, yes. the Israelites, were making an exodus out of Egypt. Right, right. God was bringing them out of Egypt mm -hmm. so they could go to the promised land. Right now, 
your first fruit offering. Yeah. You got to hear this before you even hear the rest. <laughs> right now, your first fruit offering is going to go for another exodus. Yes. Jews leaving the Ukraine. Yes. As Russia is coming in, Russia and and th there is so much anti-Semitism in the world right now right. that it is essential that we have eyes to see mm -hmm. and ears to hear. In ancient Hebrew, there's no word for coincidence. coincidence. Yep. You, it's not a coincidence yep. that you're watching right now yeah. during this prophetic time. And when you hear the revelation right. that God has given me, it is going to blow your mind. You're going to be so glad that you said yes. Yeah. Every, every year at this time, we take a first fruit offering right, right. because it is the fathering. It's what births, births. all yep. the blessings that God Amen. wants to bring into your life for the following Amen. year. This is the one. Yes. And this is the last week for that. But when you combine it with the miracle of, of Purim, right. the miracle, and yep. the, what I'm going to show you, it is absolutely oh. astounding. Yes. With the miracle of Passover, mm -hmm. that God will force the enemy to pass yes. over you That's and your right. family. That's right. And God will yes. open the windows of heaven. Folks, this is probably the most exciting time Amen. being That's birthed right. yep. in the history of the church Ooh. and in your life. Yes. This is a time of great prophecy Amen. fulfillment, mm -hmm. and God has called you to be a part of it. Amen. We'll be right back. Right now, we're in Tel Aviv at Ben Gurion Airport, and in just a couple minutes, we are waiting for a plane that's going to land coming in from Warsaw. And this plane has somewhere around 120, mostly women and children and elderly, that have been saved, have been rescued, and are now about to land in Israel for the very first time. You have helped save Jewish lives and fulfilling Bible prophecy by them coming to the land of Israel. The nation of Israel has sent us an urgent appeal for additional help with the massive evacuation effort taking place in Ukraine. Through your help, Larry Huck Ministries has already sponsored thousands of Ukrainian Jews fleeing the war, but thousands more are still waiting to be rescued. Your offering today will provide emergency transportation, food, clothing, and safe shelter for the many thousands desperate to escape the bombings, the hunger, the violence, and the death. Your offering of any size today will help thousands from the devastation that's taking place, and together we will get them safely home to Israel. To show our appreciation of your support, we will send you part two of Pastor Larry's amazing series, Jesus and the Seven Churches of Revelation. This prophetic teaching is an end time message for all of God's people and will help prepare you for the coming of the Lord. It contains four DVDs and four companion CD messages. Part one is also available upon request. With your offering of $135 or more, we will add our prophetic Lion of Judah blanket. It displays an inspiring image of the Lion of Judah triumphing over Jerusalem and will serve as a powerful reminder that when Jesus returns, He is coming as a conquering King. With your offering of $500 or more in support of Project Aliyah, we will add this magnificent art reproduction, The Lion of Judah, Guardian of Jerusalem. It's a beautifully framed art canvas piece that displays the Lion of Judah watching over Jerusalem and reminds us that the Guardian of Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. It truly is a statement piece that shows your love for Israel. To support this Ukrainian relief effort, please take a moment right now to call our ministry at 800-978-8546. You can also donate on our secure website at LarryHuck.tv and select your thank you gifts there. 
Or if you prefer, you can mail in your offering to the ministry address on the screen. But the fastest way to be a blessing is to contact us by phone at 800-978-8546. Your offering, whether large or small, is literally saving lives, reuniting families, and fulfilling prophecy. So please let us hear from you today. One lady, she's 84 years old, she traveled four days by herself to get through Ukraine, to get to the Polish border, and she was telling me on the bus that she was alive when the Nazis were bombing their home. 80 years ago. 80 years ago, and now her home's been bombed again. But because of Karen Hazelt, because of the nation of Israel, and because of you guys, she's safe and she's here with family. There, there are not words to say how much we love you and how much we thank you for helping. And this is why we partner with Karen Hazel, because it's not, as it says, it's not words that get it done, it's deeds that get it done. And when we partner together, we get it done and we're truly saving lives. You know, without getting into, into great detail, there is a prophecy that goes all the way back of the book of Genesis mm -hmm. when Adam and Eve was, right. was taken and put out of the garden. Yeah. God says, I place an angel yeah. uh, with a flaming sword to show the way back, back to the garden. And I won't get into all the details, but the garden is paradise. This is not when we go to heaven. This is for right before right. the coming of right. the Messiah. Right. God will show us how to get back to paradise right. where we're the lender and not the borrower, Amen. the head and not the tail. We're above only and not yes. beneath. This yes. is right before the coming of the Messiah. Amen. Now, let me show you that that l let me show you how the, all of this is coming together as ne I, we've been teaching this this stuff for 28 mm -hmm. years on the Jewish roots of Christianity right. it has never merged together like it no is kidding. right now passover is the time of first fruit Return unto me and I'll return to you. How to return? Three times a year. Passover, mm -hmm. Pentecost, Shavuot, Feast of Tabernacles, yep. Sukkot. And I will open up the windows of heaven and I will pour an unobstructed Amen. blessing in That's every right. area of your life That's from right. my throne to Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Those windows, those windows yes. of heaven that you showed doesn't hover over us. It's only over us during these Moedims, these appointed times, call upon the Lord yes. while he is near. God is God 24 seven. We say right. this all the time, but at these appointed times, these Moedims, yes. Yes. this is when God is ready to open the window of heaven. Yep. A week from now, that window moves on yeah. and it will never come back around right. until this time next, next year. year. Yeah. But this, guys, listen to me. This is so prophetic mm. in what is happening yes. right now and, yes. and why God led us to study the, the seven churches of Revelation. Now, let me show you something. In the church of Thyatira, they're going through these battles. So they're they're yeah. very confused. Right. And right. God says, if you hold on mm -hmm. to what you know to do, yeah. if you will do what you know to do, yes. and you do it when you have eyes to see and ears to hear, if you hold on and do what you know to right. do, he says, number one, I will give you power over the nations. Yeah. This is the end time of signs and wonders yes. and miracles. And yes. we'll get in more into that. But at the end of that, then he says, and I will give you the morning star. Come on. Yeah. Now I'm giving you yeah. I'm giving you an abbreviated understanding of this. We know that Jesus is the bright and morning star. Mm -hmm. I want you to I, I, I want you to start with this revelation. Yeah. What does Jesus mean when he says, "I will give you right. the morning, morning star. star"? Now I'll get more into it next week. But listen to this: in Revelations, was it Revelations 22? Jesus says, I am the bright and morning star. Mm -hmm. I am the divine bright and morning star. But when he's talking about himself, whenever the Bible is talking about divinity, it is always with a capital. Mm 
-hmm. So if you read Revelations 22, 16, he says, I am the bright and morning star. That's a capital M morning and a capital S because he's talking about himself. But when he talks in Revelations 2 about the yeah. church of Thyatira, uh -huh. and he says, if you keep doing what you're supposed to do, Amen. I'm going to give you authority, yes. and we're going to talk about that <laughs> yes. over the nations. This is, this is, the, uh, this is the glorious church. Right. But he says, yeah. I will give you the morning star. Right, right. Now, I'm going to get more into this. We're going to get more into this tomorrow. What does he mean when Jesus says, Jesus is talking to John, on the island of Patmos. Mm -hmm. And Jesus says, if you keep doing what you're supposed to be doing, right, I will right. give you authority and power yep. and I will give you the morning star. Yeah. Well, he's not talking about giving himself right. because number one, it's a small M and a small S. Right, right. He's talking about something that you have to go to the Jewish roots of our faith, mm. the Hebrew to understand. Yes, and I'm gonna give yes. this to you very quickly. And then tomorrow, we're gonna get in the more in-depth understanding Amen. of this prophecy. When the Lord says to the last church, to you and I, I will give you authority and power mm -hmm. And I will give you the morning star. Yeah. We have just come out of Purim. Yeah. Purim is the book of Esther. Esther is the only book, and 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 I I taught this the other day. Esther almost didn't make it in the Bible. Yeah. Because yeah. Esther's the only book in the Bible mm -hmm. that doesn't mention the name of God. Right. Doesn't mention the name of God. Why? Because, it, in fact, it's called Hester Panim, the hidden face of God. Yeah. Everything looked dark. Mm -hmm. Everything looked murky. Yeah. Everything looked cloudy. Mm. But God brought Esther, Ooh. the morning star. In yes. Persia, Persian, her name is Esther, which means the morning star. <laughs> and that's why Mordecai says, for such a time as this, what is the morning star? Right before the dawn, it's darkest before the dawn. At the darkest time of the day, mm. you see a, a star, yeah. a morning star, right. which means right. get ready. I'm about to bring you Amen. A new beginning. Yes. Now, listen, yes. I'm going to get into this all this month. Amen. God is ready to give you right now. And yes. it's connected with Passover. It's connected yep. with your first fruit. God is getting ready to bring you mm. a morning Amen. star. No yes. matter how dark it looks, yep. where is God? God is getting ready yes. to birth yes. a new beginning, Amen. a dawning Amen. into your life. Yep. The second part of that is not only will God bring you a morning star, mm -hmm. God wants you to be a morning star. I love that. Esther, I love that. for such a time as, as this. this. Friends, God yeah. has called you for such yes. a time as Absolutely. this. Right now, yep. in Ethiopia and in Ukraine, yes. an exodus mm. is taking place and God has called yeah. you to be oh, that morning yes, star. Yes. Remember, whenever God is getting ready to bless you. Yep, he gives you the opportunity to be a blessing. God wants to turn your story upside down, bring a morning star, but he's calling you, you That's to right. be that bright and morning Amen. star right now. We'll be right back. The nation of Israel has sent us an urgent appeal for additional help with the massive evacuation effort taking place in Ukraine. Through your help, Larry Huck Ministries has already sponsored thousands of Ukrainian Jews fleeing the war, but thousands more are still waiting to be rescued. Your offering today will provide emergency transportation, food, clothing, and safe shelter for the many thousands desperate to escape the bombings, the hunger, the violence, and the death. Your offering of any size today will help thousands from the devastation that's taking place, and together we will get them safely home to Israel. To show our appreciation of your support, we will send you part two of Pastor Larry's amazing series, Jesus and the Seven Churches of Revelation. This prophetic teaching is an end-time message for all of God's people and will help prepare you for the coming of the Lord. It contains four DVDs and four companion CD messages. Part one is also available upon request. 
With your offering of $135 or more, we will add our prophetic Lion of Judah blanket. It displays an inspiring image of the Lion of Judah triumphing over Jerusalem and will serve as a powerful reminder that when Jesus returns, He is coming as a conquering King. With your offering of $500 or more in support of Project Aliyah, we will add this magnificent art reproduction, The Lion of Judah, Guardian of Jerusalem. It's a beautifully framed art canvas piece that displays the Lion of Judah watching over Jerusalem and reminds us that the Guardian of Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. It truly is a statement piece that shows your love for Israel. To support this Ukrainian relief effort, please take a moment right now to call our ministry at 800-978-8546. You can also donate on our secure website at LarryHuck.tv and select your thank you gifts there. Or if you prefer, you can mail in your offering to the ministry address on the screen. But the fastest way to be a blessing is to contact us by phone at 800-978-8546. Eight five four six. There's an ancient Jewish proverb that says, whoever saves one life, God sees it as if they save the whole world. The conditions here are not so good. On the one hand, it's heartwarming to see that there's food and there are all kinds of volunteer organizations that are helping. But you see the looks on the faces of these people. They're in complete despair. Their worlds that they knew don't exist anymore. Their families are torn apart. They don't understand where they're going in the future. The small number of those here that have a connection with Israel and a connection to Judaism, thank God our partners on the ground, the Jewish Agency, the Foreign Ministry, are working with them together with your help and support with Karen Ayesod to get them food, clothing, shelter, and to get them to Israel. But all of the others have no idea what their future has in store for them. Your offering, whether large or small, is literally saving lives, reuniting families, and fulfilling prophecy. So please let us hear from you today. Thank you so much for your generous support. Now, let's rejoin Pastors Larry and Tiz. You know, this really is a time of miracles. Yes. But, I, I, and I know you know this, but Tiz and I want to, number one, thank you for yes. helping us. Thank yes. you for thank being you. a morning star. You yes. know what a morning star means? It means a, a light a bringer. Light. When you send in your first fruits, and we're already partnering with Israel right now, yep. even before you see this, we're partnering with Israel right now in ways that we can't share with you on the air of getting Jewish people out of Ukraine, out of Ethiopia, yeah. but also out of Ukraine. You are being yeah. a light bringer. Yes. You are bringing, being yes. a morning Absolutely. star. You are literally, Amen. literally yep. saving lives. Thank yes, you. God will bless you financially. We know that he'll open you the window yes. of heaven, but you are saving lives. Amen. And folks, in the eyes of God, you cannot put a price uh -uh. on that. You are being a hero yes. in the last days, a prophetic hero yes. in the eyes of Almighty Amen. God. We want to release the light of God on you. Father, you are the God right now that turns every story upside down. And Father, we release that light. It may be dark, but dawn comes now yes. in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for yes. these people who you have called to be light bringers you, in Lord. Jesus' name, Amen. Yes. We're Larry and Tiz Huck. We you love so you guys. Much. Bless you. God we'll see you tomorrow. You. We have so much amen. that we want to share with amen. you. Amen.